Last weekend I challenged myself to make a game in 48 hours using C++ and a graphics library called Raylib. If you don't know the difference between making a game in Raylib or in a game engine like Unity, I'll just show you a quick example. This is how I draw a sprite to the screen in Unity. And this is how I draw a sprite to the screen in Raylib. Whilst Raylib does help me with some things, I basically have to write some sort of code for everything I want to do. Which is definitely enough of a challenge for my small brain and seems like a fun way to go about making simple 2D games. And with that out of the way, let's get to work. At first, I didn't really come up with any ideas, so I just started programming. I quickly made this placeholder player sprite which I managed to draw to the screen. Then I spent about an hour trying to code some platformer style movement. It turned out to not really work and just felt really scuffed, which was, believe it or not, a good thing. I noticed that if you timed your jumps just right, although it was very difficult, you could kind of fly around. And that was when the idea for Get to Nest was born. I thought it would be really cool if you played as this small bird that had fallen out of his nest. You would then need to learn how to navigate back up to the treetops and your bird family while avoiding hazards as trees and branches. So I turned the player into an actual bird and not this thing. Then I drew the game's foreground and got it into the game. After that I added a camera that follows the player on the y-axis if the player's y position is less than these coordinates. And now it was time for collisions. Oh no. To implement the collisions, I first drew all of these temporary rectangles to the screen that indicate where the hitboxes are. Then I programmed some collision detection and now if you collide with a branch, you die. But if you collide with a leaf thing, I just decrease the gravity so that you can kind of rest there. And to check if the player isn't colliding with anything, I might have accidentally broken the world record for the world's longest if statement. I began the day by tweaking the player's hitbox a little and now the game was somewhat playable. But there was still a lot of stuff missing like animations, a background sound, a win state and so on. So I got to work animating the player. The animation consists of three sprites that I switch between based on a timer. I also made it so that the player looks in the direction you're moving in by drawing mirrored sprites when the player is moving to the left. But there was no time to spare and this green color background is looking pretty mid right now. So I drew this forest background thing and even though I'm no artist I still think it looks better than no background. Now the logical thing to do would have been to add a win state but apparently I felt that sounds were way more important. For the flapping sound I just took a pair of socks and shook them. Wow, flap sound. Then for the leafing sound, I went outside and just shook some branches. But don't worry guys, cause I didn't touch any grass, so I survived. Then the die sound was pretty average, I just took two pieces of wood and... Perfect. But implementing the sounds was a bit more involved since they at first were being played continuously every single frame. It was actually really easy to fix and I just had to use some flag variables to make sure they were only played once. For some reason I still didn't feel like adding a win state so instead I put together this sick title screen. And when you press space I have this panning animation that shows you the cores or Whatever this is. I achieved this by setting the camera's Y position to the one of a target that moves downwards. And for new gamers, I also added this simple text that tells you what to do and the controls so that you know how to play the game. And now it was finally time for, you guessed it, the win state. I made it so that when you collide with a nest, a sound plays and some text telling you that you won appears. But to add some sort of replayability to the game, I also wanted to display a 
how many seconds it took for you to win. I can easily count the time from when the game starts to when you collide with the nest using get frame time. But actually displaying the number as text is way harder. You see in C sharp, which is what I'm used to, you can just add the float or the integer or whatever to the string and it works. So this is C++, which means it's not that simple. Well, I tried to code it myself, but... Uh Oh, you think you have finally beaten me C++? But what you don't know is that I've got a trick up my sleeve. Now that the win state was finally working properly, the game was pretty much finished. I spent the last two hours animating the birds up in the nest and adding some background forest sounds as it was pretty quiet when you weren't flapping. And now the game was done, but far from released. You see, I wanted to build it for the web like I've done with my two other shit games so that you can play it directly in your browser. So I searched up Raylib's guide for building to the web and what? So uh, it was a bit more complicated than I thought it would be but uh, eventually after like two days I managed to get it working. I did have to drop displaying how many seconds it took for you to win as it was causing an error when building so if you know of a different way of displaying integers as chores or how to fix the error when building uh, please let me know. Also if you know how to remove this uh, Raylib watermark thing uh, let me know that as well. In conclusion building the game for the web almost took as long as making the actual game but I did learn a lot from this of course some basic C++ but also using PowerShell and commands which I wasn't expecting. Go play the game itch.io xpower and I will link it in the description when YouTube allows me to. I warn you that it's pretty hard so you won't be able to win unless you're a pro gamer. If you want to see more videos like this one subscribe, like or dislike and I will see you guys in the next one.